Hello, there is Father Ken Lau, and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. One of my favorite basketball, NBA basketball player is uh, Steph Curry. He won the MVP uh, in the NBA in 2015 and 2016. He also set the NBA record for three-pointers in a season in 2016 with 402 three-pointers. And also on December 14, 2021, Stephen Curry set the NBA record for career three-pointers. And Christian, uh, St- Stephen Curry is an outspoken uh, Christian, and uh, he's not shy about his Christian faith. In fact, if you see him uh, wear his uh, Under Armour shoes, uh, there's a scripture passage there, uh, Philippians chapter 4, 13. And in the Bible, it says, I can do all things in him who strengthens me. And uh, we would not have Stephen Curry if his mom did not change her mind to abort him. Okay, so I'm reading this from the Daily Citizen uh, website uh, posted by Jim Daly. Okay, and he wrote that Steph Curry's life was almost ended at the Planned Parenthood clinic over 34 years ago after having one abortion in high school. Curry's mother, Sonia, discovered she was pregnant again, writing in her book, Fierce Love, a memoir of family, faith, and purpose. Sonia tells of standing outside and preparing to go in to abort her baby before the Holy Spirit intervened and she responded. And Sonia, uh, the mother of Steph Curry, said, God had a plan for that child. So there could be no Stephen if I would have gone through that. There would have been no Wardle Stephen Curry too, which is the son of Stephen Curry. So, uh, Jim Daly wrote that abortion not only takes the life of a child, it also deprives the world of a future influence and impacted by that individual. We reference the tragic and devastating toll of 60 million aborted babies. But what about all the children who have been born to those children one day in the future? How many future NBA stars have been aborted? How about women? and men who might find the cure to cancer or disease? What if a future doctor who might have found the cure to COVID-19 was aborted 30 or 40 years ago? So the author uh, was so glad that Sonia chose life. And uh, Steph's mother is correct in saying that God had a plan for her son. But the reality is the Lord has a plan for every life and our hearts break and the world loses out each time that plan is rejected. Okay, so imagine if Sonia Curry aborted her son, we would not have Stephen Curry who is playing in the NBA right now. Let's really promote the, the, the sanctity of life from conception until a natural death. Living Saint, Jesus Mary Joseph, we trust in you.